For at TV, the world is thinking. Well, Robin Vaccaro and I pulled over to the side and we're watching this exchange. Well, the exchange started getting a little heated. Greg De Palma's telling the guy, I don't care, you got to start reporting. This guy is saying, I can't, you know, I'm being watched. I don't need any trouble uh, and all that. He said, no, you don't understand. You got to start showing up. Now, I want you to meet somebody. He goes, I don't want to meet anybody. You got to meet this guy. He's a friend of ours. A friend of ours is the term to use when you introduce one made guy to another made guy. So he calls Robert Vaccaro over. He says, I told you I don't want to meet this guy. He says, I don't want to meet anybody. You got to meet this guy. He's the acting skipper now. You're going to be reporting to him. And more importantly, he's friends with the boss because he was friends with Arnold Scutieri. So he says, I don't care who he knows. And of course, he's using all kinds of expletives. I don't care who he knows, what he knows. I am meeting him. Get lost. Well, he's mounting off to the guy. Now, Robert Vaccaro had a trigger, hair, hair trigger temper. He looks over and he sees these Costa Boda candlestick holder, which I don't know if anybody's familiar with it. It's like a solid candlestick that weighs like a dumbbell. I mean, literally weighs like five or 10 pounds, right? He's telling the guy, shut your mouth. He says, you be, be quiet. And Greg's jumping on. He goes, you shut up. All of a sudden, he grabs the guy. goes, oh, you're a tough guy, huh? He grabs his Costa Boda, hits this guy, cracks him over the head. And literally, you heard, you heard like a melon pop. You know, like a melon drops on the ground, you pop. And then blood's gushing. This guy just, woo, goes right down. He's on the wall. He's bleeding all over the place. He goes to hit him again. I grab the candle holder from him. I says, come on, Robbie, let's get out of here. We're going to take a pinch. You're crazy? Come on, leave this guy. He's a punk. Let's go. Oh, no, the hell with it. Go ahead, tough guy. Get up, tough guy. Meanwhile, the guy, you know, just got the canaries going around his head. He don't know what's going on. So all of a sudden, we're getting ready to leave, and the guy comes up, and he goes, what did you do that for? I know he's bleeding, and what did you do that for? I didn't do anything wrong. He says, hey, yeah, you were mouthing off. You got a big mouth, Greg tells him. He says, and, and then the guy goes, and you, what did you hit me to Robert? Robert goes, yeah, hit you, and he grabs a knife, now he's going to stab him. I'm thinking he's going to stab him in the eye or he's going to stab him in the heart. So then I said, threw the knife down. I said, come here, Bob, let's get out of here. So we go down the escalator. Petey Chop stumbling, coming over to us saying, oh, what did you hit me? I didn't do nothing, you know. And all of a sudden, he moves me around, bleeds all over my coat, you know. He moves you, spins me around because he was a little guy. He spins me around. Next thing you know, he's down. Robert says, stay away from me. He hits him, knocks him out. The guy falls on the step. That's just going down the escalator, right? And I'm sitting there and I'm going, I, I can't believe this has happened. And sure enough, the security's all out now, waiting for us. So Greg De Palma doesn't miss a lick. He says, right eye, he turns around and he goes, hey, that guy just fell down the steps. He's going to sue you guys, you know? <laughs> so, 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 we, so as he's getting down, he's going to fall off. I picked the guy up and shook him. I said, listen, you jerk. I said, you better get out of here. You're going to get hurt. And the guy, oh, get out of here. And I pushed him. We go back. Now I get in the car, it all comes clear to me. I'm saying to myself, all right, I think I made a big mistake here. I says, number one, I'm worrying about taking a pinch. Wise guys don't care about taking a pinch. They love going to jail. They don't care. And to them, it's like, what? So you go to jail, you visit old friends, you do six months, say, you catch up, what's going on? You eat super sod, mozzarella, you have a good time in jail. Right? So that didn't scare the guy. Number two is, why didn't I give him a couple of licks? Why didn't I kick this guy? Why didn't I punch this guy? Because, hey, he was... Uh, insulting my capo. I should have been all over this guy like white on rice. But instead, I didn't do it because, you know, those are moments in FBI's when you work as an agent where we're in the business of, you know, preventing crime, not creating crime. So if this guy, if I would have hit this guy, I would have killed him. If Robert would have hit him, he would have killed him. So from that moment on, I was a little concerned that, and especially the ride home, because we had to ride back to the, that I'm thinking to myself, because Greg De Palma is saying, Robert, he says, you got to go on record with this. You can't touch another made guy because in part of the so-called mafia rules, one made man cannot touch another made man. You can't hit him because otherwise the sentence could be dead. So Greg De Palma says, you go on record tomorrow first thing in the morning. You tell this guy was acting like a jerk and, you know, you, you go on record. But don't worry about it because if he has to make a complaint, he has to go through me, the captain, and I'll make sure that doesn't go anywhere. So, sure enough, Greg De Palma, as he's leaving, he tells Petey Chops, you be there first thing tomorrow or the next day, you hear me? Well, the next day passed, he didn't show up, which angered Greg. But the following day, Petey Chops shows up to meet us. He's got this huge bandage on his head, but he came with a stuff full of envelope money. Mm -hmm. And that's the rules of the mob, is he had to report. You can't operate 
under the umbrella of the mob and be able to run a bookmaking uh, operation and uh, not pay up. It's all about money. Everybody has to kick up. So that was an incident that I was worried because, and, and that possibly they would look at me funny because I didn't act the way criminals are supposed to act. I acted like a good guy, which they don't need good guys, you know.